I did. Like if I had on clothes and I was uncomfortable, I'm like, wait, before y'all take the picture, count to three and let me <laughs> suck it in. Hey y'all, I'm Jay Maxine. Welcome to or back to my channel. In today's video, I will be giving you five tips that I used before, during, and even today on my weight loss slash fitness journey. Those that are new, I lost 65 pounds and I've been able to sustain the weight loss for about almost two years now. I'm not sure, I need to go and calculate that. But anyways, um, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you like these kind of videos, let me know, because normally I'm in the kitchen doing what I eat in a day. It's just because, guys, I like to eat. I really do enjoy eating, but I just wanted to try something different. So if you like this, let me know. I want to say that I'm not a doctor or registered dietitian, nor am I a physical trainer. So please take everything I say with a grain of salt and let's get into it, guys. First off, guys, you have to have realistic expectations. For example, have you ever had a friend or a family member and they're like, hyping up a movie hyping up it's so good it's so good you gotta see it and then you finally have the opportunity to go see the movie and you walk out like eh, it was okay wasn't really your cup of tea it was okay so if you build it up in your mind the reality won't live up to your expectations do you get what i'm saying so then you end up quitting we don't want to quit no one ever remembers the quitter and so to kind of put that in a weight or weight loss category, that's like when you're working out every day and you're eating right and then boom, you're trying on your clothes, you're doing all these things, but you're not seeing any progress. If your ideas on what it takes to hit the goal doesn't match your expectations, that's going to lead to you being disappointed. That's going to lead to you wanting to quit. And oftentimes I see people who are on the right path, but they're not seeing the results because of their expectations. So they end up quitting, going in and thinking things are going to be really easy and that you're not going to be uncomfortable is a huge setup for disappointment. So make sure that your expectations align with what is in the reality of weight loss. It, you get what I'm saying? We know that losing weight definitely takes time. Like I think I've said before, it's taken you months, years to gain the weight. It's gonna take you that much time or if not longer to lose the excess fat. So definitely, definitely please be patient with yourself. You have to learn new habits. That's definitely not easy, but something that is doable. You just have to do your research. Um, for myself, when I started, like I said, I love to eat. And right now I try to consider myself a healthy foodie, but I did. I reached out to a dietitian because I was just off track. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Look at ingredients on a package, but I wasn't tallying everything that I ate and they have really good resources out there for that like apps I know some people use like my fitness app um, some people use different apps to kind of track their calories our conversation was just kind of swap out everything for something healthier whole foods you're gonna lose weight at least that's what happened for me so I'm not gonna say you are but that's what happened for me so I was kind of staying up late at night and going all day without eating because I was doing so many other things that I would forget to sit and like eat. And then I would just grab something that was not great. And then I'd go to sleep and I'm not working out. So um, I would just say for me, what happened was I switched from process to whole foods and it helped me lose weight um some people like to have food journals and they write everything that they're eating or they're put it in an app it just wasn't for me but like i said you have to have a new way of thinking and you it's doable you just have to figure out what works for you like anything worth doing it requires a plan you have to have a plan of action for me i like to start with my end results and work my way backwards just so I know that I can keep it off. So no matter the plan or strategy that you decide to pick, just stick to it, right? Evaluate it, course correct, step back, look at it, see if it's working, make those adjustments, at, but most importantly, enjoy the process. There are gonna be times when you are doing great, your energy is high, your cravings are low, and then you're gonna have those times where it's completely opposite, where your cravings are high and your energy is low. So you gotta think to yourself, what is it that I want exactly? There are times when you get on the scale and you're seeing the weight loss move, and there are times when you get on the scale and things aren't changing. Um, for me personally, when I started my weight loss journey, I was weighing myself, I think, way too much. Start off, everyone seems to be very, very motivated in the beginning 
And if you're depending only on motivation, you're setting yourself up for failure, right? Because I feel like motivation comes, it, motivation is kind of in and out. I'm going to say it's in and out, right? So you can start off really, really motivated. And then as time progresses, your battery just gets a little low and you got to recharge. So I feel like you should put more dedication, dedication over motivation. Um, because dedication is letting you know exactly what you're dedicated to do and you're going to stick to it. It's for me, it's your why, you know, your purpose. I would say start by sitting down and writing out what you want. I want to lose weight because don't just say I want to lose weight. Why do you want to lose weight? I want to lose weight because I want to feel better. I want to lose weight because I want to feel better in my clothes. I maybe you spend a lot of time like sucking in. I know I did. Like if I had on clothes and I was uncomfortable, I'm like, wait, before y'all take the picture, count to three and let me <laughs> suck it in. Right? And it's like, I was so self-conscious about the way I looked in my clothes that it kind of took away the whole purpose of going out with friends or family that, you know, I was worried about what am I looking like in these jeans versus, hey, let's toast or whatever the case may be. So don't just say I want to lose weight. I need to know why you want to lose weight. Um, another example for me just in general is obviously I have two kids, two beautiful kids, and I want to be around for them as long as I possibly can. I teach them about healthy choices, right, and how to manage stress and all these things, and I wasn't doing it myself in that time frame. So I had to get my act together. You know, I really did sit down and I thought about what is it that I need to do to implement what was my why? What was my purpose? And that literally helped and pushed me to propel myself to smash my goals every single day. Oh, uh, we got it. That is a real why and purpose. When you give more context, don't just say, I want to lose weight. Why do you want to lose weight? And if you are comfortable enough to tell us down below in the comments, feel free to tell us your why, your purpose of why you're maybe on currently on a weight loss journey or you're thinking about one what is your why and when you know that y'all things will start falling into place nothing feels better than having a purpose and keeping a promise to ourselves and knowing that your why or your purpose is what's going to keep you going throughout your journey because it definitely helped so don't forget to please write down your why just write it down look at it every day and it will definitely pump you up and get you going. Celebrate yourself. I don't care how small it is, how big it is, we're gonna celebrate, okay? For me, if I went and I was eating the foods that were good for my body, things that filled me, I was going to the gym and I enjoy going to the gym. One thing I'm gonna say is don't go to the gym and you're tired. I know sometimes people say, oh, go to the gym, you know, you're tired. You're not gonna give it your all. You don't wanna go in there half doing anything. So take your time off, right, and rest. But when you're hitting those goals, celebrate for me i love workout clothes so when i was losing the weight and my old clothes were super baggy i would go out and buy me a new outfit i'm like oh i look cute i love tennis shoes so if i was losing the weight or just sticking to my goals whether they were big or small i was buying tennis shoes because that's what i like to do um it doesn't have to be extravagant when i was losing the weight and i was fitting back into my old clothes you know i was feeling good so i'm like okay cool i want to get dressed up it's COVID, but I want to go somewhere. Y'all, I'm in the house dressing up. Just dressing up. Putting on clothes and shoes and stuff and just feeling good. Walking up and down this long hallway in my house because I couldn't go outside because of coronavirus. But anyways, whatever it is that you like to do, do it. It could be a movie. It doesn't matter. Just write it down. Make sure you celebrate every step of the way. If it's a bigger goal, like you lost, I don't know, 30 pounds, Go out to eat and you know, you enjoy food in general. If it makes you feel good, do it. I don't really understand when people say they have cheat days. Incorporate those foods. Like I said, I love chips. If you've been on this channel, y'all already know. Okay, I love chips. My favorite are like salt and vinegar. And so I had to switch, right, from the normal brand that I was eating to something a little bit more healthy and sustainable for myself. But you'll figure it out. Trust me, I did a lot of trial and errors and I figured out things, figured out things. So don't forget, we're gonna celebrate you. We are celebrating you, y'all. And I'm thirsty.
Do y'all like these kind of videos when I'm just sitting here talking? I know when I first like would get on YouTube and I'm like, man, people really do sit there for like a whole hour and just talk. And y'all love it. And I usually be in the kitchen cooking because I like to eat, but I'm gonna try to switch it up. I'm gonna try to switch it. I'm like, when you know there's something that you want, you're gonna work a little bit harder anyway. But we're gonna go from self-loathing and punishment to self-love and betterment. That is what we're doing in 2022 and moving forward, okay? We gonna change our mindset. A lot of times people, me and myself included, start this journey off with no energy, not liking the way they look, they're disappointed, they're trying to figure out how did I let this happen to myself? I'm, I'm guilty of that. Yo, and I hear it all the time from friends or family. We gotta get rid of all that self-loathing. It creates a very vicious cycle. Punishing yourself when you're dieting and exercising, it's not fun and it's not productive and we're not gonna do it no more. Start to give yourself a little grace. Like, if you are helping a friend or a family member, are you gonna be like that towards them? You're not? No, you're not. You're gonna be very positive and uplifting um, and you're gonna help them make, you're gonna help them with their self-improvement. So why aren't we doing this for ourselves? We'll say, I have to go to the gym tonight because I ate a whole medium pizza. Okay, I've done that, especially in college. <laughs> but that's a whole different story. So don't say that. Instead say that you are blessed to be able to go to the gym to build a better and healthier body. I'm gonna find foods that I like that gives my body what it wants so I can feel and look better, right? Something simple like that. You just have to have a different mindset. You can't say one thing, right? Cause it's like self-loathing or like you're putting yourself down. So I just found ways to say things that were a little bit more uplifting. Remember, changing your diet, the way you eat, and exercising is not a punishment. I absolutely love food and I love working out. It just makes me feel good to kind of just, it's like a stress relief in a sense. So don't look at it as punishment for yourself. Think of it as a way of like you're bettering yourself. When you start to love and care for your body, the weight will come off. I'm gonna say that again. When you start to love and care for your body, the weight will come off, things will fall into place sit down or even write down um, the things that you're grateful for. Your workout plan needs to fit your busy schedule or you won't be able to make it work. Your food needs to be enjoyable and not require more prep time than what you have. Everything should be unique to your body and your situation. A plan that works for who? For you guys, it has to work for you in order to work. It can't work for me. If you need help putting a plan together, first off, I'm going to link my what I eat in a day is again. These are just the things that I did, things that I ate, but it could be a little helpful, but you can always hire like a coach, someone that kind of resonates with what you want to do. Most of all guys, I think the most important thing to do is to have fun, have fun on this journey. It'll be a lot of ups, a lot of downs, but the results are priceless. And I did really enjoy sitting here just kind of talking. Like I really feel like I have people out there like listening, but this is a camera y'all. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate the support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see y'all next week. Bye.